Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I did want to do this video a little bit sooner, but I've just been so busy with training for the actual triathlon. Uh, so I'm going to round this up into like a seven week update as well. Also, this is my hundredth YouTube video. So thank you very much for supporting. I was going to do something really big for like the hundredth video, but I need to get these videos out before that one. If you know what I mean, I've not had a chance to do some sort of like big challenge, which will be happening for the hundredth video as a whole it just won't be the 100th video so yeah stay tuned if there's any sort of challenges or anything you'd like me to do for that 100th video then whack them in the comments below and i'll see what i can do for you but yeah getting back to the video so the original workout plan that i put on the first video announcing that i was doing the triathlon was here that has changed slightly recently mainly due to me wanting to swim more often and two uh, the day that i did football training on changed so that messed up my whole plan completely it took me a good few days to figure out how i was going to get all the training in because i had to do certain things on certain on certain days with that being said here is the new workout plan we will go through that now and how it's been going and we'll go through the actual workouts and what i've been doing i've pretty much been doing three or four sets of 12 on literally everything just to get volume through my muscles to last a bit longer during the uh, actual triathlon itself. So I've not actually been focusing on increasing the weights or anything. I've been focusing on just getting the workouts done to keep my body ticking over and not to be impacting the cardio element too much. I've not really pushed the weights. I've been sort of sitting at almost like a maintenance with the weights. I found a weight that's not too challenging, but challenging enough that it's actually doing something. Um, I assume once I have done the triathlon itself, I will then move back into maybe a bit more of strength training. But at the moment, it's just about getting my muscles moving and um, getting a bit of endurance in there. So, with that being said, as you can see, when I put the, the workout split up, uh, the first one is uh, chest and shoulder isolations um, with a swim afterwards. So, I have actually got myself set up in my own workout app right so as you can see these are my workouts you may have noticed there's an arm workout in there that was sort of an optional one i decided quite early on that it just wasn't really necessary so first one chest and shoulder accessories it's mainly shoulder isolations i don't know i've always just called it accessories same thing so first of all targeting the upper chest a cable low to high um crossover so just the cable fly um, that is four sets of 12. We then move straight into a rear delt cable flight. I know I've been doing this pretty much as a superset just to speed my workouts up so I can get to the pool. Um, obviously, I noticed quite early on with the swimming, there was so much rear delt involved um, and they were sort of the main muscle that was sort of burning up early on. Uh, we then move into a dumbbell bench press, obviously targeting just general chest. I did move that onto a slight incline, just slightly, because I've always found that moving back with the dumbbells is quite a long way for me to pull back. Um, then a cable lateral raise, uh, barbell decline bench press. I don't do a lot of decline, I just, I've never found, every now and again I find it clicks with me, but not too often, and I'm not. I prefer to do a cable fly, uh, high to low instead of low to high, and I was doing that on a previous plan, I just decided to mix it up a bit and include a bit of uh, barbell bench in there. And then a dumbbell front raise, obviously targeting all heads of the shoulder with those isolation movements. So then we'd obviously go for the swim afterwards, and I've been aiming to do recently two lots of 500 metres. I tended, because I've been a bit um, fatigued after this workout, I've done one lot of 500 and then split the second lot of 500 into maybe sets of four lengths so sets of 100 meters and um, just depending on how i feel sometimes i did more than four sometimes it's just four so then tuesdays it will be legs and a 5k run i do both of these in the gym so you'll notice i have two leg workouts i have legs one legs two both of these i do a 5k run afterwards uh, one of them is mainly um single leg movements i've been doing a lot of this since my knee rehab so i kept that in the plan it's essentially the same workout i've been doing the whole time i've just increased everything to 12 same as the chest and shoulders and um, not really focusing on um, strength too much at all um, but i tended to do legs two first they were just the order that i actually put them into the app 
So legs to, I'll do both of them at the same time. So barbell back squat, heel elevated. So that was to target more my quads, get a little bit of work through my knee as well, um, which has been going pretty well. You've noticed this workout is probably quite quad dominated, I would say. Uh, we then moved into dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. I find they work better for me than a barbell. A leg press, then a leg extension, straight into dumbbell walking lunges. Then you may have seen the guy on Instagram, knees over toes. He talks a lot about doing backwards sled drags. Again, this is to put emphasis for your knee joint. Um, I found that's working quite well actually. And then a machine calf raise, so don't skip calves. Um, we'll go straight into the first leg workout as well. Like I said, I was doing a 5K run after each of these. Uh, I did start off quite slow and then gradually over time just got more used to it and built it up. I actually did find that doing the 5K afterwards would negate quite a lot of the doms that you'd usually get from legs. So legs one, this, if you were following my knee rehab stuff, uh, you'll know quite a lot of this stuff already. Um, so the first one is a dumbbell rear foot elevated split squat, so just a Bulgarian split squat. Um, with I'd usually do that on a BOSU ball, so that was for the balance of my knee. Uh, get a lot of the glutes, quads, hamstrings, everything just working all together. That one, instead of doing it weighted, it would be a BOSU ball across the body. Um, so it was all about balance. Nothing to do with actually building muscle in that exercise. Uh, then we go into a dumbbell reverse lunge. I was doing, so I was originally doing two sets of everything on my good leg and four sets on my bad leg. <coughs> this was basically to catch up in the strength on my bad leg and potentially increase it further because my knee needs it. Uh, but what I went to was three on each because I didn't want the awkward doms of having more doms on one side whilst I was doing all the triathlon training. So I've gone to three sets on each. Originally I was doing a five second hold because I went up from eight reps each leg. I've gone up to 12, so I've done a three second hold instead. Um, we then do a single leg kettlebell deadlift, uh, barbell hip thrust. I actually do them on a glute driving machine. I find it's just a lot quicker to set up and I find I connect with it a lot better. And especially for single leg movements, it's a lot easier to manage instead of potentially having a wobbly bar. Um, single leg press, single hamstring curls, I do these on a prone hamstring curl, so lying down. And then a Smith machine single calf raise uh, with slight knee bend as well. So that would be my Tuesday and I did start doing them on Friday. Um, potentially could be on a Thursday. So then on the day of football training, depending on what my week was, I would potentially go get a back and shoulders workout. I'd usually leave that until a Thursday though and do a one hour bike afterwards. Um, sometimes I would go for a run before football training if I could fit it in, but quite often I'd end up joining in the session anyway. So back and shoulders with a one hour bike, that would be out on the road um, whenever I wasn't getting a puncture, essentially. I've been out on the bike six times and had three punches. It's currently at the shop getting tubeless before my triathlon next Sunday, which is the 18th. So back and shoulders workout. Um, you you notice as well, I don't do the standard push-pull legs split. I don't like doing push and pull mainly because when I find I do pull back and biceps, feel like by the time I get to biceps or if I do a bicep exercise in between back exercise I feel like it really negates I feel like it really like hampers each movement so I prefer to do the master split that I've got which is back and shoulders so a pull with a push movement as well so dumbbells single arm bent over row uh, machine shoulder press I do this on a plated machine shoulder press it is so much better uh, cable kneeling row, uh, I have the cable set high so it targets my lats and I like the constant tension of it as well. Dumbbell Arnold shoulder press, so your standard shoulder press, targets a little bit more of the full shoulder instead of just standard shoulder press with dumbbells. Dumbbell shrugs, 
I've never really focused on these, but what I was thinking with swimming, there's going to be a lot of sort of upper back muscles used for swimming. Uh, I did actually start doing shrugs earlier this year because it was a muscle that I wanted to target in general. I thought that my traps were lacking a little bit, but I carried them on with dumbbells. I find I get a bit of contraction with them in a bar because there's a little bit more range of movement that you can have with them. And then pull-ups. I don't tend to do these very often. Um, just mainly because I like to focus on the weight a little bit more and by the time it's the end of the session I'm nowhere near strong enough to do pull-ups. Then to, yeah, like I said, Friday, legs in a run. Saturday would then be a long bike. It's tended to be the same sort of hour that I've been doing, maybe a little bit further. I end up doing around 25 to 30k. Um, and the times have been close to what I'm aiming for. I have set aims that I've, I'm sort of targeting for for the actual triathlon. We'll see on the day with weather uh, weather conditions and things like that. And I will reveal them later on, show you how I got on. Then a Sunday is a swim and a light bike. If I feel like I need the light bike to loosen off, but I haven't done that too many times. It's mainly been the swim that I focused on on a Sunday. So that is my training. Um, that I've been doing. So a bit of a roundup. We are coming to the end of week seven of the training and um, it's going really well. I've been documenting all of the times and everything and improvements so I will potentially put them into like some sort of graph so I can show you what I've been getting up to um, in a future video when we potentially review the triathlon itself. But yeah I'm, I'm really happy with the way it's gone. I was not necessarily struggling with the swimming to begin with but it has improved a lot. The bike, I've always been pretty decent on a bike, so I'm not worried about that. And the running has increased massively. Um, the Getting my new trainers have been an absolute game changer because I'd find quite often um, on the treadmill or running, I would get like a seized up lower back or I would get the same in my shins. And since I've got these new trainers, I've not had a single issue. It's, I've got two pairs, so one of them is the Hawker Bondi X. I'm going to go into all this in another video to tell you about all the um, equipment that I've got um, and sort of what you'd need to get to potentially do a triathlon in the future. Um, but they've been a game changer. They're sort of my training shoes and then I've got a pair of Carbon X3s which I'm probably going to do races in because they're a bit more of a faster shoe and really easier to sort of pick up your pace in them. Um, but yeah, the, the main issue I've had is my bike. Uh, I just keep seeming to get tiny little punctures. Like when I've taken the, uh, the tires off and looked at the actual puncture itself, it's literally a pinprick. And it's really annoying because I know exactly when it's happened. It's when I've gone into like, I think, well, I think the last one, I went into like a tiny little divot as I was looking at the traffic coming up to a roundabout and then it just went. Um, and it took me 40 minutes to uh, fix at the side of the road. That was on Bank Holiday weekend when I was doing a trial run for the triathlon which went quite well other than that it took me like literally 40 minutes to fix it so far from ideal. Uh, I was also ill then all of last week. Well not all of last week I was ill for like one day but it just knocked it out of me for the rest of the week and I decided to rest up instead of push myself to get into the gym and training and stuff and um, so that basically puts me including this week's six weeks of training I've got tough water tomorrow. I'll probably go for a light swim Sunday and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm planning on doing a swim, then a bike, then a run, and then have the rest of the week off up to the triathlon on the Sunday. Um, so I'm basically doing six weeks of proper training and then I, I've had a week off ill and then a couple of days to just cool off essentially. So that sort of rounds up where I've got up to in the last seven weeks. I did want to get more content on the sort of training and everything, but I've just really not had the time to do it. I've been finishing work and then just cracking on uh, and I've not really had anyone to help me. Uh, and also you can't be a bit of a weirdo with a camera or anything like that in a swimming pool. So I've not been able to get any of that sort of content and content riding a bike is another hard one. You've got to have someone either in a car or also on a bike to get any of that stuff. Um, I will try on the day to do a, a vlog of the day. Like I said, I'm going to do in another video all the equipment that I've got. That will be coming out as well pretty soon. I want to get that out before the actual day of the event. Uh, but yeah, little update from me. If you've enjoyed it, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one where I go through all the equipment.